high Aries. So today we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. The Hermit. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. And the King of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have the World. So when I pulled that King of Swords, I was getting a message. I'm hearing something about hanging on by a thread. Um, so it feels like this is a situation. So we have the Two of Cups coming through here, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit. So this feels to be a situation which for a lot of you, it's almost like there's some type of um, obvious connection between you and this person that I'm tapping into today, but it almost feels like a, things are getting closer and closer to something to happening, and I want to confirm um, what that is exactly. When I'm looking over here at you, the viewer of the reading, it seems like you have been able to, it's like I'm seeing a keychain with all these different keys on it, but somehow you have been able to you're about to, actually I'm hearing, if you have not already, you're about to unlock something or to find your happiness. The Ten of Cups is a very happy card. And with the world also coming up at the bottom, wow, the Wheel of Fortune beneath that, the Eight of Pentacles. So something is definitely shifting and we do have an eclipse coming up too. So there is a lot of intense energies right now. Um, Spirit keeps wanting to bring the message. I, I don't know yet if this is about them or you. I mean, I do think it's mainly about you, this message so far. Uh, or this part of it, there's something about just a movement of energy with the Wheel of Fortune in the world that almost feels like there's no more turning back, there's no more kind of time to waste, there's no more going back. So something is coming to a completion with the Ten here too in a very profound way. Um, and since you do have the Two of Cups, I'm getting this could be an unconventional relationship. So for some of you watching, this could be, um, it could be same sex, it could be, it doesn't have to be for all of you, or it could be something that just feels like it's been out of reach, or maybe it's been in the air, it's been kind of lingering. Um, I'm getting this connection could be a bit, um, I'm hearing clearing out unnecessary clutter or clearing out unnecessary something. And we do have the Seven of Swords here. The person you're connecting to, they're coming up as Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's something definitely coming through. Um, I want to get more into it for the specifics of how this person's coming through, but I keep seeing swords and knives and cutting through something that's coming to kind of a karmic completion or karmic ending, which does feel like it's mainly in a positive way, though. Someone here could be an air sign, potentially. We have fire and air. It could be a, an air sign, the person you're connecting to, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, though. But this person I keep getting, if they, I mean, they could be an air sign, but they don't have to be. They could have a lot of air qualities to them. And in the coming months or so, it's like whoever this person is connected to you, they're doing a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking about you, a lot of thinking about this connection. Um, I'm hearing don't be afraid to be bold. So I think that's probably this person. We do have the hermit. So it feels like there's... I actually kind of feel like this could be a mirroring connection too. Some of you, this is someone who you do mirror each other quite a bit. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, this is a very bold energy too. And with the Hermit, there's basically an energy, energy of, come on, let's go out of the shell. Let's be bold. Um, and it feels like this could actually be mirrored in two different ways. You know, for you, it could be in different aspects. And then for this person, it can also be about opening up more to you. 
Um, this is very much of a soulmate connection I'm getting. Whoever this is, I can't pick up yet if this is someone from the past or somebody new. We'll kind of see more as we go, but this is definitely feels very soulmate ish to me with the two of cups it feels like two people who are i'm hearing cut from the same cloth so you may somebody actually could wear a braid a lot or somebody could wear braids um but this is definitely a strong soulmate connection here and since this person is coming up as ace of cups their feelings for you is a seven of pentacles um i'm getting this image is kind of strange how spirit showing it but they're kind of showing me how when you are it's very strange, but like if you're eating a, like a hamburger or a hot dog and you want the ketchup and the mustard and everything to be with it, it's like this person is seeing you as the ketchup to their hot dog. I don't know. It's very strange. That could be something specific for somebody. I don't know why it's coming up like that. Um, but the way Spirit's showing it to me is it's, it's like something is finalizing or the final piece of the puzzle is being put together so that this connection can kind of move forward or thrive i'm getting and we actually do have the mirroring swans here so this is definitely a connection that i feel is mirrored um so they're coming up as the ace of cups here and i'm seeing somebody flying in an airplane so there could be a distance this could be somebody who is flying in from a distance or on an airplane here um For some of you, I will say this could be a new connection. It feels very fresh and very new. Um, it could be a new connection. It won't be for everybody. If it's not a new connection, it feels like some type of new energy is being brought to the table. Some new offer, some new fresh perspective, some new just energy being brought to the connection here. Um, and that's why we have the ace coming up for this person too, the ace of cups they are somebody who's very spiritual this is somebody who is either becoming more spiritual or who is already you know very spiritual again the emphasis on this reading is just two people who are two people who it feels very much like a serendipitous kind of meeting though so i don't know for some of you it could be just i don't know if i'm picking up on future energies here or if this is somebody who you've already met or you recently met but I just keep getting a feeling of, I'm getting a lot of yellow here too, yellow color, it could be solar plexus or yellow, somebody could wear yellow or yellow, I don't know, something yellow, but it feels like this is very much about maybe like an unexpected meeting or something that feels like the time is coming, the time is finally here for this to happen. Um, they're showing me like a hurricane almost and like all the branches, all the trees have fallen, but then we have silence, then we have things to grow back. Um, so this person, their feelings for you, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I'm hearing this is somebody who is feeling a bit, I wouldn't say uncomfortable. I mean, it could be a little bit uncomfortable. They're wondering about their emotions. If they are, it's kind of like I feel again, for some of you, you could have already met this person or maybe you recently met up again after a while and something shifted uh, in which they feel like they're having to sit with their emotions they're having to dive into their heart and kind of pull out their heart to be open and receptive to this relationship um, and I think that they have been maybe a little bit uncomfortable with that but it feels like I'm seeing somebody like in a chair and scooting closer and closer to, you know, like if you're in school or something like and children do and they're scooting closer to you in the chair to get um, to be close to you. That's what this person could be energetically doing. They're trying to scoot closer to you. And again, it feels to me like this is two people with the two of cups who have a very um, strong connection. If it is a friendship, just take it how it's going to resonate. I feel like this could either be specific for some groups of you, or this could be, it's going to be different for a lot of you, how this will actually be or who this will be. Um, like I said, it could be a new person. It could be someone who you recently saw again after a while, or maybe this is predicting what will happen, but it's just definitely a feeling of like, I want to be closer to this person. I want to either get to know this person more, or I just want to simply be closer to this person. Um, and so with the Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to get closer to you energetically. Um, and I feel like they have, this could be for some of you, someone who you have already started things with, or in the past, you tried to start things with this person, but they may have not been um, totally ready or available 
or something like that. And I'm getting that right now, how they're showing up here with the Seven of Pentacles. They are being pushed beyond their limits. You see how we have all these doors here. It's like this person has been trying out all these different doors or they have even like in their own mind, in their own heart, they may have tried to, um, I guess, escape. I don't know if escape is the right word. Maybe try to escape in some way or try to figure out kind of... Um, Remember I said to the key ring, something about the two of you having the key to each other, you know, like you are having this with the wheel of fortune, in the world again, the best way to describe the feeling I'm getting is like something that's meant to be something that feels like the prime time. Look at all these animals, like looking straight forward. It's like, they're all here to welcome this. They're all here to be in the present moment. So something is like they're waiting for this to all play out, you know, if that makes sense. There's something that's like happening and, and the world is watching, like everyone is watching this unfold. So again, it feels very significant or it's about to be significant. So it's like you're having the key here and then they are finding the key to you. So, um, so let's see how they're feeling about you. Seven of Pentacles, what else here? Ace of Cups. Someone's birthday could be coming up. There could be a birthday. I'm getting something about a birthday celebration. Let's get some confirmation and see. I'm hearing spirits say lukewarm. Yeah, the hanged man. So it's like, I don't know again if this is something to wear with the hermit. Somebody feels a bit lukewarm. I don't feel like it's representing the connection itself because it feels like the connection has a lot of potential. But if it does happen to be like a new person, for example, it could be kind of like a lukewarm feeling. Like maybe this person with the Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to figure out kind of, am I, you know, is this, it's like there's a meter on the scale here. And right now the connection is getting warmer and warmer or it wants to become warmer and warmer. But someone is having to feel out maybe how they're going to do this or something like that I'm getting here. Um, I'm getting like one of those, I don't know what you would call it, but like a, like a wheel that's spinning and you spin it and you don't know where it's going to land. It's kind of like that. It feels like, are we going to, is it going to land on us? Is it going to happen between us? Something like that here. So let's confirm. Um, I'm going to use this deck actually. Let me see. Yeah, see, roll the dice. Weighing the pros and cons, leaving it up to fate. I'm getting, um, I'm hearing saving it for the blue sky or saving it for a day that is good. It's almost like, I don't know how this is connecting exactly or who this is saying this, but it's almost like a feeling of when the sky is blue, when it's a perfect day, then that's going to be the day. Or we're waiting for that day to come. And again, the king of swords is somebody who... Um, I am hearing this person could be a little bit selfish on the selfish selfish side. Um, they could be someone who, if you're already getting to know them or you're already together, um, you could find that it's like you do feel the connection. The, the connection is very strong. Uh, maybe even have a solid friendship here too. But they could be a little bit unsure if they want to spend their time with somebody and that with the ace of cups could represent how this person's beginning to open their heart or they've already opened their heart a little bit to you if this is somebody who you've already been again getting to know it depends on your story um it feels like they are becoming more you know maybe trying to build or trying to tear down those kind of lukewarm walls so that they can open their heart a bit more here to you. So right now the connection feels like it's kind of up in the air, you know, and I'm hearing something about how it's something about it does feel though. I will say the more I get into the energy, it kind of feels like it's, it definitely is left up to the universe. I don't know if maybe you have left things on a note with this person to where you don't necessarily know what's going to happen. They don't know what's going to happen. You haven't talked about it or if it is like a separation, maybe it was a situation where you had this connection and then you never really left on a note where you you talked about what was gonna happen next. Like, are we gonna revisit this in the future? So for some of you, I am picking up a person here who has been looking at this connection as either, you know, A, we had this connection before, but is it 
something that I want to reopen or is it something that I like do you even want it there's a feeling of mirroring here though and then for those of you again if it's an existing connection or someone you recently met it could be kind of a feeling of like will I see that person again will we go on another date again and kind of leaving it up to in a way the question mark in the air or the lingering kind of feeling in the air of what's going to happen next what's going to be between us um I'm hearing Seattle for somebody. Let's see. Purified soul. Angelic healing, shining inner light. Yeah, it's like I'm definitely seeing, it's almost like I'm seeing somebody scrubbing the floor and then everything is totally clean. So I don't know if maybe we do have this white here coming up for them and we have the white feather. So I mean, I, I do feel like, again, this is coming up as a connection that has a lot of potential for purity. Um, it feels like for you and again that's why the wheel of fortune the world was at the bottom because i think it's both of you really in different ways but again the circumstances for this reading is going to depend because this is kind of like i think a collective reading in terms of the energy of what's happening with the eclipse and everything but i'm getting a feeling of you have finalized something you have completed some type of karmic chapter you have completed some type of um I don't know, some growth in your life to where you have kind of the the, the field is free for you to roam, sort of. Um, and same goes for this person. So the connection between you both, the Two of Cups. Yeah, when I'm looking at this Two of Cups, I'm getting this like giddy, exhilarating feeling of again, like what could be, what could become? Is it going to happen? And there could actually be a lot of sexual energy here too. So that could be the exhilarating feeling I'm getting when I'm looking at these two people. There's a feeling of whoever this is, it feels like there's a lot of intensity, but it may not be. For some of you, it could be that you actually did have like a very, you know, intimate connection or you already have this right now. But for others of you, it's more of just a feeling of like, what is under the surface of this connection? What more can we can we have, especially if it's more of like a friendship or a new connection? Um, but there's nonetheless kind of a feeling of like what it's like a feeling of after we ripped kind of after we clean the floor in a way what is there more to discover about each other there's something about going deeper here and yeah so letting love enter exactly so emotional rush I feel like that's mainly this person over here this is somebody I'm hearing stopped in my tracks. So again, I don't know what this who this is for today, but it feels like this is a connection where something about you stopped them in their tracks, especially if it's a newer person or let's look at actually this person here a little bit more and see. So they're coming up as Ace of Cups. I'm hearing something about starting from scratch or from scratch. How is this person showing up, the person we're connecting to today, Spirit, Ace of Cups? I'm getting snorkeling for some reason. Somebody could like to snorkel. It can also represent water energy and kind of the depth of emotion in a way. We have ride or die, unshakable loyalty, sacrifices made for love. How is this person showing up? Ace of Cups, the person you're connecting to here today. Getting this person could be on the shorter side for someone out there. We have Games of the Heart, Push and Pull, Runner Chaser. Yes, we have Mirroring Souls. So there's a mirroring here on the Swans, the Two of Cups, and the Mirror. So this is definitely, for a lot of you, a mirrored connection. And what I'm hearing is that someone here, this person's questioning their behavior. So um, they're wondering about something that they did. I don't know what it is, but they're wondering about some type of decision they made or they're ruminating about the past. They're ruminating about, um, they're at the fork in the road here. I'm also seeing chess. This person could play chess or the connection again between you both could be sort of at a ch ch chess game in a way. How's this person showing up? This person is someone who is really afraid, though, to open their heart, I keep getting. I don't know if this is someone who already opened their heart to you or they're just thinking, here's the world again. Um, they For some of you, let me see, the star, king of wands, could be a fire sign possibly Leo Sagittarius or Aries 
again, the best way to put this is I'm getting, again, two different things. For some of you, if this is somebody new, I just want to repeat it because this is definitely a, a reading that there's going to be different groups. Um, if it is a newer person, it's almost like this person has come full circle to where, for example, they've been thinking about how they've acted in the past with other people, maybe, or other connections. And something about meeting you has stirred in this passion for you or this feeling of like, again, you know, this potential, what could become, what could we be, what could we um, further become between us here? There's this stopped in the tracks or feeling like you are somebody who really caught their eyes, caught their attention, queen of wands, king of wands. So yeah, there's a counterpart here. This is two people who have a lot of passion, a lot of potential if it's a newer person and they have kind of almost like in a way their heart has been cracked open their heart is becoming more cracked open to where they've somehow you've inspired them or somehow with the purified soul here too for those of you in group one where this is a new person they have felt like you have awakened something within them and what it's actually doing is it's it's sort of serving a, a multiple purpose on one end, it could be uncomfortable because they may have to revisit certain things about their past that they have to sort of sort out and kind of go back around to think about what is really important for them. How can they be loyal? You know, things like that. And then for those of you, and then on the other end of that, the other purpose for, for that, for group one here is that they also feel that you kind of motivate them in a way. But for another group of you, this could be somebody who you've known before. And like I said, maybe kind of left on a note where it was really unspoken, unspokenly given to the universe in a way to where you both didn't really know if you would ever, I guess, meet again or see each other again. Um, this could be somebody right now who has been having this sort of cracked open heart in a way. But since you mirror each other so much, it feels like if this is somebody from the past, they um what's I gonna say? Let me see. How are they feeling about you? Seven of Pentacles. I'm hearing the name Maria or Marie. How is this person thinking and feeling about you? Something about warmth I keep getting every time I'm tapping in here. It's like a feeling of warmth and comfort with when you're with each other or what they feel could be with you. The Page of Swords. I'm getting this person is spooked. Again, going back to the same thing, it kind of feels like this is somebody who feels a bit spooked by what you and kind of Show, showed to them or what you made them feel. They feel a bit spooked. Um, or if it's a past person, they feel almost like spooked at the thought of what would happen if I were to open this can of worms? What would happen if I were to, you know, communicate or message this person? It's like I'm getting for some reason this woods in the background represents their fears. Like if they got caught in that foggy woods, it would feel very scary. And that's why with the Ace of Cups here, this person is somebody who feels some type of intangible kind of pull to open their heart but it's also makes them feel uncomfortable but at the same time it gives them a feeling of this exhilaration of what would it would be like to kind of be with you again or what would it be like to go further with you in this connection um that's definitely what i'm getting here and that's why I said to lukewarm with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. It's not that I feel this person's feelings for you or interest in you is lukewarm. But yeah, Two of Pentacles, it's more of their... I'm hearing history. So again, history that they've had, if it's a new person, or history between you both. The history is complicating things with the world here too. And the... Actually, that's the Judgment card. That's not the world. So... Um, but same kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it actually makes better sense with the judgment because they've had to go back into thinking about their past and thinking about what um, they've had to change. With this ride or die, again, um, I'll just separate this into two groups. For the first group of you, if it's a new person, they almost feel like you could be a ride or die. You could be somebody who would be that, that ride or die for them, that, that, that connection that is unbreakable, is unshakable. 
and it makes them feel very intrigued. It makes them feel very um, interested, but it also makes them feel afraid. And then if it is somebody who you have this kind of ride or die with connection before, you have this very unbreakable bond. Um, it's a feeling of maybe them replaying the past and kind of going back to thinking about how maybe you were that person for them. But can they sort of deliver? Can they, can that heart that's been cracked open be enough? And I think that's what they're contemplating at the moment here. I'm hearing an S name, Susan or Suzanne, something with SU. So what else is this person currently thinking and feeling about you? This person could actually want to show up on your door I'm getting or your doorstep. We have the emperor and the hanged man, they could potentially with the fool coming up beneath this as well. They could be considering that or they could be wanting to do that. It feels like they are Tell me a little bit more, Spirit. How is this person currently thinking and feeling about you? Wasting time, I'm hearing. They could be sort of wasting time by not moving right now or not doing anything. Yeah, so mesmerized by you. A deep intrigue, captivating aura. We also have at the bottom here too, in our wildest dreams, rebellious love and going against the grain. I think I mentioned before too, this could be kind of an unconventional connection for some of you in whatever way that is. It feels like this person, I'm seeing something about they're carrying you in their pocket. They're carrying the thought of you in their pocket. They could actually look up in the stars for some of you. Sounds kind of corny, but they could look up in the stars and think about you or something about looking up. I don't know, they look up, they may even pray, they may look up to the stars. Something about how they don't quite understand everything fully. They don't understand this connection fully. But they almost like keep this in their sort of pockets in a way or they keep you, they kind of carry you with them. Um, they're very intrigued by you again here. The emperor, they are coming up as an emperor. So I do feel, I'm hearing something about like the time is now or now or never. So they definitely feel like they are, I'm hearing building confidence. So yeah, they could be building <clears throat> the confidence, being the emperor, especially if they're more of a masculine character to come towards you to, I'm, it's almost like I'm getting somebody like when you're playing a sport and you're kind of benched or you're on the bench for a while and they're not sure if they're ready to go back into the kind of game sort of, but it's not a game. It's more of just like the way they're showing it. They're not sure if they're ready to maybe dive in fully. I am hearing for some of this could be because of Mercury retrograde or they could be considering all of this because of Mercury retrograde. Um, and for some, it could actually be that they have, yeah, I was just going to say that for some of you, it could actually be that they have entertained other connections. So the reference of like playing the field in a way, and they're wondering if, because we have here the third party, karmic interferences, new sparks, and we have falling victim to temptation, mistakes, and lessons. So Again, with the judgment up here, they've been replaying their story I'm getting. So um, again, they've been sort of going back into thinking about, is that story complete for me? Am I done with that chapter of my life? Um, whether it's new or a past person, same kind of thing. It's like they have been definitely thinking about this. And I'm hearing that they've, they're have they almost getting kind of sick um, because of how much they've been thinking about this. Or it's almost like the time the Seven of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the time that's been ticking, whether it's been a while that you've been apart or whether this is sort of a feeling of like not seeing you after you met for the first time, the time that things are taking or the time that's ticking is kind of making them feel not good or not well or sick in a way for some reason. So they almost feel like they have to do something. They have to either say something or they have to, they have to do something. It just feels like it's being left kind of in the air here and they don't like that uncomfortable feeling. And for some, I'm hearing bridges burn. So again, it could be that they've had, they're gonna have to burn bridges 
with other people or past, if especially if it's a newer person, to sort of be with you and they feel intrigued by that, but they also are questioning, again, if they're ready to. Um, but there's this feeling that they can't ignore of being so drawn to what could be here. Um, and if it is, again, somebody from the past in the same kind of scenario, maybe they feel either you both have burned bridges before with each other, or I think for most of you, it's more so that they would have to burn bridges with maybe other people or other connections or other situations in order to um, kind of be somebody who can become the emperor now, somebody who can, um, you know, sort of be this ride or die for you or, or be somebody who can be loyal to you. So let's see if there's anything else here. So Ten of Cups that you have over here. Again, I do feel for you... I don't know why I'm seeing tea. So maybe you drink a lot of tea or you're drinking tea right now. Um, but it's almost like a pot of tea. And I just looked at the timer and it's 333. So 333 could be also an angel number that you want to look at. I'm hearing that song by Maroon 5. It's getting harder and harder to breathe. Um... I don't know. It's like the, they keep showing me riddles. It's like the snakes and ladders. Like you, you, you make a move and then you fall back down. Um, it's getting harder to breathe. Something about this just feels like a pressure cooker. Like something has to give or something has to happen. Or um, let me see. How is this person? What are their emotions right now? Whoever this is. We have compassionate. What is this person's emotions for you, for the situation? We have hopeless. Yeah, I feel like the hopelessness is more about them feeling that they have a feeling of that pessimism a little bit. It may not be like completely, but they have a little bit of pessimism about their past or about like the turbulence, which is why they're in the Page of Swords energy. I feel like they are... Going back to the chess game they're showing me, they could be somebody who could be quite logical with the emperor. They could be somebody also who is quite, um, you know, maybe structured, maybe organized, maybe somebody who has a bit of a rigidity to them, possibly. And they do feel that I feel like they... are just a little bit too much in their head, I feel. And we have safe. Yeah, so secure, sheltered, and protected. So Spirit wants me to move on here to the outcome and then may connect here. So let me see. What is the outcome between you and this person here? King of Swords. This will be like the next month or two with the King of Swords. The Knight, Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person, they are continuing to contemplate. The Lovers. Again, I will say for some of you, this could be something to where they would have to journey alone, I'm hearing, meaning that they would have to journey to you alone in terms of maybe, because we do have the Seven of Swords for the external environment. It's like... Let me see.
the chariots. So there's definitely a movement here. What else, Spirit? Can you tell me, please, anything else about the outcome? King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Lovers, the Chariot. I mean, I do feel there's going to be a giving in. I'm hearing giving in to, I guess you can say temptation, but it can also be, it's not really, it could be temptation, but it's more of like just giving in to what this connection is, what this connection could be. Um, and I'm hearing that it's something about melting. So with the lovers, again, you know, this could be a connection that's very strong, a connection to where you almost feel like you're melting somehow with each other. Um, Knight of Wands can be very passionate as well. And since we have this here too, it could be that there's, there's movement coming in, which will be very passionately kind of inspired or passionately driven. Um, but they're not, for some reason, Spirit's not giving much more information. So it could be that this is just having to play out uh, in a way that will naturally happen. Because I'm not really getting a solid... Um, let me grab a card here from this deck. It's like they're showing me somebody walking into a river with their feet. And the water only goes up to the ankles. Meaning that it feels like... It's almost like a test in a way. Like this connection I feel could be going into a test period, a trial run. Um, whether this is somebody new or not. And it feels like this is wanting to, wanting to sort of dive deeper into this, but I do feel like you mirror each other. Again, with the King of Swords, there's a feeling of you both mirroring each other here. And I don't know, it's, it's a, hmm, let me see. Yeah, take it slow. I think that's really the main message here. Divine intervention and take it slow. Because what, however this story will resonate with you, the bottom line I'm getting is it's like they're showing me an anchor with cords attached to it, kind of at the bottom of the ocean, which is slowly being dissolved as time goes by, which is slowly beginning to dissipate the kind of restrictions or the blockages that have existed between you and this person and also your individual lives. So it's almost like with the melting thing, it feels like you're beginning to melt closer together or melt closer into this connection, which is why you also have the 10 of cups because it feels like you are, you've taken the long road I'm hearing, you've taken a road which may have been somehow long for you whatever that means you've been maybe having to go through many cycles many situations much healing and lessons and it feels like what's happening right now like i said in the very beginning of the reading is a lot of things are being divinely kind of placed into your life trust that things happen for a greater divine purpose everything is unfolding as it should so I feel like, especially for those of you who this is something that's going to just pop in out of the blue, um, I don't know if it's new or old. I think for it's going to be mixed for a lot of you, but it feels like this is a situation where spirit is definitely having your back here and whatever does happen, whatever does feel kind of like you can't resist the pull or there's this feeling of just intensity between you and a person, just take things slowly because it feels like that's going to be the key to moving things along in the best way. Um, and I'm getting something about a mature relationship. So this is probably for those of you who you have a very mature foundation between each other or you see the potential for you both to have a mature connection maybe even a long-term, long-standing. It can also be too that if this is somebody from the past and only take this if this will resonate, it may be that you both have really grown so much, you both matured so much since the time maybe that you saw each other before. And that's where judgment comes in and the emperor here too. There's a feeling of building on a solid foundation and having to really trust that. I'm hearing the name Mike or Michael, but that can also be Archangel Michael too, since I had seen that before.
I'm also seeing piano for some reason. So somebody could be a piano player or piano teacher. Let me just see the connection between you both, the two of cups. Yes, embrace love and we have commitment. So again, the main message is that this feels like it's for somebody who is beginning to make space for what is what will be making space for a long term partnership, making space for a sacred union. Um, and I do feel for most of you, it's probably a new connection, but I can see it being maybe possibly a new version of a connection, which has grown again a lot. Um, it feels like this is something that is going to be propelled forward in a very, you know, the chariot, the, the lovers here, the king of swords. Um, I'm hearing the rest is going to develop slowly. So again, the rest will happen naturally, but that's what I'm getting with the influencing factors. This could be where there are a little bit of things to overcome when it comes to influencing factors. Um, it feels like I'm seeing somebody having to put out fires around them in their environment. So let me get some messages from this person to you and see what they would want to say. Yeah, so here is stability. I want to rebuild this relationship to make it last. And again, that's what we have here. Um, it could also apply for a new person, just like rebuild from their past, rebuild from their other connections into you, which would be different than what they had before. So any final messages? What would this person say to you if they could be honest? Someone also could be getting very strange occurrences, I'm hearing spirit say, or strange incidents to where they could, they can't really make it up, they can't ignore it. It could be synchronicities, it could be just I don't know, weird things that happen to them that maybe either put them into a place that they're drawn to you, or maybe they just feel like they're being led by spirit. Um, and they feel like it's very strange. It's very unique how it's all happening. But I do think with the chariot and divine intervention, that is why it's happening like that. We have, I'm trying to figure out the best way to approach you. That's why I'm taking so long. And yeah, here's doorstep. Um, I'm thinking about showing up and surprising you one day. So that's what I had said before too. For some of you, this could be somebody, um, regardless of new or old, it's somebody who could be thinking about just like popping up out of the blue or um, maybe, I mean, they could text you first, obviously, but something that would be very spontaneous, something that would almost be like they are ready now or they want to talk now or they want to share some piece of information, which would be to help the connection to move along. And this is all happening because I feel divine intervention has been behind this person. It's almost like a flame in, in behind somebody, like pushing them to make changes. Um, so whoever this is, they definitely are considering just popping up, maybe knocking on your door. If they do know where you live and it's not like a creepy thing, they could just show up one day. Um, Yes. Wow. I've never felt this way about anyone else before a passion. So yeah, whoever this connection is today, whoever this story is for a lot of you, this is a very strong connection, very passionate connection, a connection that defies all others with the two of cups. And there's a lot of um, intimate, you know, sensual passion here as well. It feels like with this over here too, with the ace of cups, like I said, it's somebody who feels like you just, you kind of are inspiring them in a way or propelling them forward in a way that they can't really deny. They can't deny this connection. They can't deny how they feel. Um, and you obviously with the 10 of cups, you would feel the same way. If this is for you, you would definitely know. 
um, it's like I'm hearing something about the wait is over. So like I mentioned in the very beginning, it feels like this whole thing has come full circle to the fact that some major bridges or cords, it's like that feeling of the anchors that were behind, like shackles that were so ingrained, whatever that is. I don't know if it's things that you've been working on in terms of limiting beliefs or karmic challenges or same goes for them something is just reaching a point of dissolving to where it doesn't have a hold anymore on blocking you from love blocking you from what you most deserve and this card just flew out so let me get one more Yes, awake. I see the error of my ways. Life has been tough recently, but I've learned a lot. And that's where I do feel this person is somebody who has really gone through an awakening. They've really gone through realization of who they are and what is important. At the bottom, we have void. This is where they've come from, I do feel. This person could be somebody who did try to fill the void with superficial encounters, superficial lifestyles, maybe even... Um, you know, with the compassion, they may not have had a whole lot of compassion for themselves, for others. They may have just been in a bit of a pessimistic energy, but it does feel that they, they've either been sort of awakened by you, if it's a new connection, or they've just, I don't know, they've just had a change of heart. We have boomerang. What goes around comes around. I can feel the tables have turned between us now. So I'm going to get one final card of advice for you, the viewer. What is the last card of advice for you? Something about being different. Yes, chemistry. A mutual spark, again, between you and a person, a magnetic pull. Something, though, about, for some of you, go with your heart. Don't go with what you feel others would say, or don't go with what you feel like you should have or you should be. Um, there's something about this unconventional or kind of even rebellious, for some of you, not for everyone, um, version of this connection, or this connection is something like that, that would feel kind of like it's it's almost a leap of faith. You know, it's a feeling of... Um, our wildest dreams, a feeling of like two people who come together in a very divine way, but it's also maybe not really liked by other people, or it would require a bold move. I think I did say boldness before too. And with the Queen of Wands, especially maybe for those of you who this is a newer person, um, it feels like you have also unlock this kind of fiery boldness within you to where you may not care so much anymore about what other people think, or you may not care so much about even other areas of your life. There's a feeling of enhanced kind of momentum and, um, you know, just fieriness and joy and happiness that can be invoked within you now. There's a feeling of you being led to many different higher things in your life and breaking out of the shackles and the chains that have bound you to a previous version of yourself or to previous lower connections I'm getting. So I do hope that this reading could help whoever this is for. Um, seems like a pretty positive, exciting reading. So hopefully it can resonate with somebody out there. Let me know if you'd like to. And thanks so much for tuning in. Take care and lots of love. Love. Love.